Hey, I'm kind of a lazy guy. Using a cheap Sony lav mic for most of my videos. However, I'm starting to do a lot of uh, SoundCloud audio lectures, and um, most people don't know it because I haven't done it for years, but I used to review a lot of microphones. I've owned a lot, and still do, own a lot of uh, professional microphones, and I like to do a, a simple gear review on uh, the best microphone for voice and for lecture, and uh, sub $300, okay? And of course, just like all the countless thousands and thousands of lens reviews I've done, you know, the question is compared to what? Some people have only ever owned junk, and they can tell you what's the best out of the pile of junk that they've used. <laughs> and, um, you know, obviously we could talk about like a $6,000 Neumann microphone. And I own three Neumanns, not that class of Neumann, but I mean, I have a lot of really nice, expensive microphones. Here's one I got laying over to the side. This is uh, what uh, all of Hollywood uses um, for uh, their movies. And this is a $1,000 Sennheiser. This is the MKH416. I'm a huge fan of uh, uh, shot, uh, shotgun mics. Uh, my favorite, however, is the Rode NTG3. It's made in Australia. It's made better than this. To me, it sounds better than this, but for absolute neutral clarity. There's a reason why Hollywood almost exclusively uses this, the Sennheiser MKH416. So, but I do have a lot, oh, maybe 30 or 40 videos back years ago where I did microphone reviews, but I like to do a simple one. And there's a toss-up, actually, between three mics. I didn't bring one of them out here. One of the contenders is the Rode NT1A. It's typically 230 to 260 bucks. Depending on where you get it, it actually has an extremely low self-noise. I think it's uh, 7 dB of self-noise. It could be a little bit higher than that, but it's extremely low. It's also used uh, in a dual microphone stereo configuration for nature recordings because the self-noise is so incredibly low. So it is a contender. However, it's a toss-up between these three mics, the one that I just mentioned, the Rode NT1A. And secondly, we have, and of course, Sennheiser is not cheap. I just got done showing you a $1,000 Sennheiser microphone. This is the Sennheiser MK4. Depending on where you get it at, you can get it between $250 to $300. Um, got a couple of these. And it's actually a great, these are uh, condenser mics. This is an extremely well-made mic. It only comes with a little pouch and a little microphone uh, uh, screw-on adapter for uh, screwing into a microphone stand. The only issue this has, and the reason why it comes in number two, actually this comes in number three, and the second place uh, would be the, uh, the Rode NT1A, is because the actual uh, cardioid capsule, and this is a gold sputtered capsule, same thing on the Lewitt that I have here and also too on the Rode NT1A is that it actually even though it has a, uh, a cardioid pickup on uh, on uh, this it's uh, very selective as so far as you, you get a little bit uh, uh, off to the side of the mic and if you're uh, like I am and you're doing an audio lecture you know I might be moving a little bit here or there I might move off you know just as a matter of thinking like this from about 25 plus degrees off axis dead center to the front of the uh, condenser capsule and uh, you'll really notice it on the Sennheiser absolutely will notice it I absolutely lo love the way this uh, microphone renders it uh, actually is also two number three in self noise both the Lewitt and the uh, Rode also made in Australia my favorite microphones by far are Rode people say oh there's way better microphones I have those better microphones you know Sennheiser's, Neumann's and I know the absolute standard is, um, oh, is that real expensive? It's typically run you like $6,000. I forget the model. I've used it once. It's not that impressive. They actually, uh, I find several of the mics uh, sound way better than that. Uh, and they make uh, copies of it too. There's a really, uh, versus $6,000, they make one that sounds exactly like that, like it. And they, they not only copied uh, the microphone condenser capsule, but they also too copied the circuit board processor um, for it. So you could get one that sounds exactly like it for uh, $300. I forget the manufacturer of that. I used to have a couple of them, but I since uh, gave them away to somebody that I know that does uh, a lot of audio recording. He absolutely loves them. I should have kept one of them. But anyway, second place is the Sennheiser MK4. 
All of these are cardioid condensers. Uh, number one pick, and it has only seven decibels of self-noise. The only one that actually has lower self-noise is the Rodian T1A, and I think it has three or four decibels of self-noise. It's the quietest of the three. It really is a great pick at 230 bucks, but it does come in third because of how it renders. It is very uh, clear and neutral, and actually the Lewitt is not so perfectly clear and neutral relative uh, to the Rodin T1A, which is the most neutral sounding. Second place would be the Sennheiser, and the third, it just sounds perfect. There is a je ne sais quoi, just like a really fine lens that, uh, that uh, let me show it to you here. Now, the design is uh, Austrian, uh, it's a Lewitt. I have a few different Lewitts. This is the 440 Pure. Self-noise is 7 decibels, 25.4 millimeter uh, diaphragm. It's a large diaphragm cardioid condenser microphone. It's a uh, 3 micron, three micron uh, diaphragm gauge. It absolutely sounds brilliant. Also, too, any of the audio samples from these, you can go into SoundCloud. Dot com and type in any of these microphones and listen to a thousand samples from different voices, different pitches, singing versus uh, audible recordings out in nature, cityscapes and whatnot. I, at 250 bucks, actually, depending where you get it at, I think on Amazon it's like $269 or it's on sale for 255 I have a couple of these. They're absolutely incredible. This is a Lewitt uh, LCT 440 Pure. It's an uh, absolute best mic of all time for under $300. The Lewitt microphone is absolutely brilliant. Um, it is extremely well made. There's not a single flaw if you actually take your glasses off and get down on the microphone like this. There's not a single flaw or any sort of uh, you know poor design issues you're going to find on it. Also too, I absolutely love the fact that they use uh, uh, hex uh, screw attachments. You know, there's not, you know, like cheap Chinese stuff, usually a lot of the mics in the 300 negative, 300 and lower range, they'll use the flat heads or phillip head screws. You can kind of see they're a little off, <laughs> little off kilter. It's like it might look beautiful, but you can tell the assembly, you know, is like low level subpar. And also too, uh, the XLR contacts are gold plated, as well as the cardioid capsule itself is gold sputter coated. This is absolutely the best sounding mic, in my subjective opinion, as an owner of uh, I've owned many hundreds of mics. I still own about uh, 80 microphones. Um, I love uh, microphones. I always have. I'm, uh, I don't think I have the, the voice for a microphone, but I know a lot, and I do a lot of stuff in, uh, in uh, audio lectures, and I'm starting to do a lot more of it as I've uploaded stuff to my own SoundCloud account. So this is my pick for the best uh, voice recording for a lecture. And a voiceover mic, as I call it, and that's the uh, LCT 440 Pure, um, company out of uh, Austria. It's the land of Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? I love uh, Aus uh, Austrian quality. So, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I carefully put these microphones up because there's nothing that will destroy a microphone any quicker than like accidentally dropping it on the ground. Um, I love the Sennheiser. It actually would probably be number, my number one pick if it wasn't so sensitive to off-axis uh, voice or off-axis sound. Just slightly off, 25 degrees off. It's extremely noticeable in the recording. But it is a, an excellent Sennheiser. So, but, uh, Anyway, let me know if you have any questions. Once again, go to SoundCloud and check these out. I would be using this on like a microphone boom, which I've got right over there with another mic. Except the way I move around and stuff, I just uh, used to. Uh, and also, too, I kind of have a bit of a pet peeve of people that make videos. You can't really see their face because I've got this big freaking microphone in front of their face. And it gives me a pet peeve. It's like you're watching a video of a microphone talking because you can't see the person. They're in right there. You never really see their face. So that's the reason why I use a, a clip-on uh, lav mic. I don't like wireless mics because... You know, you got battery charging issues. They're just a pain in the butt. I like to keep things simple. So that's the reason why I don't use this microphone for my videos. I would, but that's the problem therein. Just the fact that it gets in the way of the video. Thank you.